product like Lunar Lake at the scale this industry needs to bring AI PCs to life. Today we're proud to announce our newest core ultra processor, codenamed Lunar Lake. It's the most power efficient processor we have ever built. Google and Intel share an unwavering belief that new technology should be accessible, secure, easy to use. When using a Copilot Plus PC with Lunar Lake, people will experience incredible performance that outperforms the latest Mac Air. We have more than 80 unique designs across more than 20 top OEMs around the world. We are going to take our innovation partnership one step farther. From sand to silicon, our ecosystem has created something incredibly powerful. Literally. Alright. Hey folks, uh, I recognize a uh, few old faces and there are a lot of new faces, so hopefully by the end of the night I'd love to uh, speak to all of you and find out what you do as well. Uh, what I do is uh, consumer business for Intel. It's for Asia and uh, ABJ. So today I want to touch on what my colleague was saying about sand silicon and how we bring that silicon into these amazing devices uh, on, uh, with Intel and co-engineering efforts that we have with Lenovo. So, this oh, is good. Here we go. Here we go. So the way Intel builds category meaning how we bring these devices to market is we have three different areas of our business that we engage to make sure that this you know, materializes. The most important obviously is silicon, so producing the right product for the right devices for the right time is super important. Fun fact, it takes about four or five years for the product to reach from its development to the market. So our engineers are now working on products that are coming out in the market in 2029, sometimes 2030 as well. So we obviously have to have a lot of foresight and understanding what people are going to be using these devices for. And of course, then it becomes a matter of what kind of systems we're going to be building these in, right? So going from silicon to systems, obviously, to these other Nova devices, uh, we do a lot of co-engineering efforts. And a lot of people know Intel for making CPUs and chipsets, but really, we are, uh, we work on pretty much every aspect of this uh, product design. From cameras, so the, uh, when you walk away from your laptop, we use Wi-Fi sensing to detect uh, whether someone's walking away from the laptop. But we know it's you because we also have camera facial recognition and we also work with Lenovo to integrate a specific design that Intel engineers work on. Tapping on the screen, we actually worked with Lenovo on this Unison software and created, I mean, Lenovo engineers are absolutely incredible, just tap, I mean, we didn't think of that one. Tap on the laptop, make it way easier for people. That's why Lenovo is as, as big as they are, they're number one, because they think of very easy solutions, very easy ways to run devices. And last but not least, especially AI PCs, software is incredibly important. And enabling software properly is, is if you don't do that right, you're not going to have the right experience. So those experiences are basically various software uh, uh, applications that you guys use every day. And Intel has 120,000 employees of which 19,000 are software engineers, more than our competitors combined workforce. And those software engineers work with Adobe's, Microsoft's, etc., etc., to make that happen. We launched AI PCs about a year ago and we now basically have the best selling AI PC processor in Meteor Lake. So this is Intel Core Ultra Series 1. And of course, with these Aura devices now, we've essentially integrated our absolute latest series to Lunar Lake, which uh, our executives were referring to. In Lunar Lake, we literally designed this product from the ground up. We thought of, every, like there is absolutely nothing on this chip, on this silicon that we did not change. And uh, we basically approached it from the power efficiency angle. We wanted to give Lenovo the ability to have multi-day battery life on their devices. 
And this is really the first true product in x86 that is multi-day battery life capable. So, how do we do that? I want to give you a couple of practical things that I think are really important when you do talk about, you know, uh, uh, Lenovo uh, or devices to your followers that I think matter in terms of how they're going to be using these devices and what these devices are going to do to improve uh, your experience. So, uh, to do that, we have to marry the fundamentals and, of course, the most capable AI PC. So, here are the five aspects which make Intel Core Ultra based PCs great AI PCs. Fastest CPU core, fastest graphics for gaming and AI, highest AI performance, most efficient products, great battery, and of course unmatched compatibility. I'm not going to bore you with these benchmarks, all they really tell you is how snappy the products are. Using single threaded uh, uh, benchmarks are very good for thin and light laptops where you are on the go and you're basically expecting a very responsive device that's going to be snappy. Very good against both of our competitors. I hope these are. Uh, we had a couple of slide glitches on. Ah, ah it works. All right. Game, game performance, absolutely fantastic. This is versus uh, AMD's 300 series. Um, we also tested against Qualcomm. Um, half of the games didn't work properly. Uh, they are still struggling with some compatibility issues, so unfortunately, it um, wasn't an easy test for us to do. But 68%, ha, oh, it's struggling to load. Well, work, here we go, 68% faster. All you need to know is better game. When it comes to AI performance, a lot of folks you will see talk about tops. Tops don't mean much unless the software enables the experience properly. So to do that, you have to have the firmware, the runtime, the driver, the hardware, everything working in one. That's where the magical software software engineers uh, helps a lot. So when it comes to graphics AI capability on literally these devices that will power those experiences that are going to be running in the background, Intel has a, a significant lead because the software is strong. Despite the fact that they probably have very similar tops number, Intel is way stronger. Qualcomm didn't run again. What happened to Qualcomm? Uh, we also have an NPU, Neural Processing Unit, uh, and NPU is actually quite difficult to, to get software running right because it is quite a new processor uh, to enable. So obviously with that, oh, this time maybe it didn't run right. So a lot of compatibility and teething issues. Intel is the scale engine of the industry. We're shipping basically 80% of AI PC devices this year alone and we'll ship up to 100 million devices by the end of next year. Why is that important? Because software companies are building monetizing their services on the most capable platform. So of course, they will also work with us to make sure that those experiences are fantastic. So power efficiency, I already mentioned it. True multi-day battery life. Uh, we have basically challenged the notion of x86 uh, uh, not being power efficient, right? So we've worked obviously with Microsoft as well. No, we've redesigned these things. They're absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm using a Meteor Lake for work at the moment, but I'm really hoping to switch to Lunar Lake. Uh, um, if you've got any of these samples that are left over, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure we can make use of it. Uh, so last but not least, I'll skip to this. I just want to kind of, a lot of people talk about software, give me a bunch of numbers. Uh, a lot of the software that we do, that we enable are, are, are really important pieces of software, like Adobe uh, Suite. Uh, Microsoft on their blog just recently, or yesterday, announced that Intel was the first company to enable an NPU-based Adobe Premiere Pro feature uh, on a Copilot Plus PC. So Lunar Lake is a Copilot Plus uh, rated PC uh, as far as Microsoft is concerned. Uh, XSplit, I'll give you a couple more examples of creativity. XSplit for streaming and, and gaming, uh, enable them on AI. Audacity, you can split audio uh, tracks, uh, voice, instruments, etc. using literally a click of a button. Um, which is absolutely incredible. Like on Adobe Suite, you can track an object now by just clicking on that object. I remember when I used to video edit in the early 2000s, you had to go frame by frame, 24 frames per second, <laughs> mask every frame, holy smokes, it was, it was laborsome. Now it's literally a quick click of a button and MP recognizes it, it just works. One, 
on privacy uh, uh, and security side, I think this is kind of cool. Um, uh, McAfee, we enable deep fake detection. So you watch a YouTube video, uh, it recognizes a, a potentially uh, AI augmented audio, it will flag it as a potential deep fake. I mean, there, there are going to be a lot of these things that are sort of happening in the background. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, this is going to take my job, I'm a content creator, this is going to replace me. No, well, not. This, this software is designed to be your assistant, to get rid of the mundane tasks that you... Who wants to go through 24 frames per second and masking that object and do that? You should be focusing on getting your creative vision, uh, and that's exactly what AI is going to do. It's going to assist you in that process, and that's, I think, where the greatest power software is for, for Intel and, of course, Lenovo delivering those devices. So, basically, in closing, uh, I, that's it. I, I, will, I didn't prepare 50 slides, but I'll just leave. No, I'm just kidding. So, this is my last slide. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you have a great time.